Good morning everyone. I am Devlina Pal, a member of class 9th B. Today, I would be telling you some benefits of yoga poses. First pose, Adho Mukh Svanasana. This posture is known to generate the last energy due to fatigue or when you are exhausted. When practiced regularly, strengthens legs and ankles. This asana rejuvenates the brain cells and stimulates the brain. It also helps in relieving pain and stiffens in legs. The arthritis in shoulder joints is also relieved. Second pose, Virabhadrasana. This posture is also known as warrior pose. It stretches our hips, groins and shoulders, opens our chests and lungs, energizes tired limbs, stimulates our abdominal organs, develops balance and stability, improves circulation and respiration. Third pose, Hasta Uttasana. This posture helps us to cure various back problems. It improves digestion, stretches and tones the muscles of abdomen, lifts energy up through the body. It also stretches the chest and ribcage, removes excess weight and metabolism, trains the vestibular system. Fourth pose, Padahastasana. It reduces fat accumulation around waist and abdomen, massages all organs of abdomen, increases a flow of blood to spinal nerves and muscles, stretches the spine, hamstring and calf muscles, relieves varicose veins, controls high BP, effective in sinus disease. Fifth pose, Aswasanchalanasana, builds strength for the muscles that support the knee, can help elevate pain caused by sciatica, stretches the calf muscles on the front leg, stretches the hips on the back leg, increases mental power, reduces menstrual discomfort, relieves constipation. Sixth pose, Parvatasana. It benefits from removing spinal defects and helps to achieve proper spine posture by strengthening the spinal column. In addition, it helps in strengthening and toning the legs and arm muscles. Moreover, it improves the blood circulation to the brain and balances the nervous system. Seventh pose, Bhujangasana. It helps to stretch muscles in the chest, shoulders and abdominal area. It may help to soothe sciatica. It also helps to enhance flexibility. It may rejuvenate the mood. It decreases the stiffness of the lower back. It may have some beneficial effect on the symptoms of asthma. 8. Pose Trikonasana It simulates and improves function of blood through the entire body. In addition, it strengthens and stretches the hips, back, arms, thighs, and leg. It also reduces blood pressure, stress, and anxiety, cures indigestion, gives flexibility to groins, hamstrings, and hips. Ninth Pose Vrikshasana it calms and relaxes the central nervous system and stretches the entire body. It strengthens the legs and opens the hips and improves your neuromuscular coordination and endurance. It may thus be helpful for those who suffer from sciatica. Tenth pose, Tadasana. It improves your posture, helps increase height. It improves breathing and promotes weight loss boosts mental awareness and energy level, provides relief from sciatica, enhances body flexibility, warms up thighs and tones, low abs, strengthens small muscles in feet and ankles. 11th pose, Uttrasana. It strengthens the chest, abdomen and quadricep muscles and tones the gluteus and hamstring muscles. Uttrasana may allow the cervical tension to be reduced while stretching the neck in the back bend. It may also aid in strengthening the shoulders, arms, back and leg muscles. 12th pose, Setu Bandhasana. It helps reduce stress, anxiety, mild depression, fatigue, insomnia and headaches by allowing blood to flow to the head. As this asana causes the spine to stretch it, might allow help make the spine flexible and may be good for the health of nerves. 13th pose, Kapotasana. 
it may improve oxygen delivery and cellular respiration and increase the strength of lung muscles it may also reduce body weight it helps to improve muscle flexibility and relieves back pain reduces blood pressure and lowers the effects of chronic diseases 14th pose vadha konasana it improves flexibility in the groin shoulder knees thighs and the hip regions it is also curing for asthma high blood pressure infertility etc this asana enhances the function of the reproductive system in man and woman both it removes fatigue from walking and standing and helps in intestine and bowel movement